Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Hunsaker of Desert Valley Audiology. This week's video is going to be about buying a hearing aid, what things to look for and what to expect when buying a hearing aid. If you're like many people, when you go into the audiologist's office or the hearing aid dispenser's office, you don't really know what to expect with a hearing aid. There's many different varieties and they give you different choices, but ultimately you're not really sure what you're getting. I remember personally, when I was in graduate school, my dad needed a hearing aid, and so of course he would send his audiologist son to look for a hearing aid. I'd been in graduate school about two to three months, and to be frank, I, I didn't know hearing aids all that well at that point, so I didn't know what to look for. Uh, so I started looking around, I went to the different audiologists in town that I knew, and I kind of asked them some questions, and, and they kind of left it up to me. They said, well, we'll get whatever you would like. As I did more research, I kind of became more confused. I didn't really know what to expect. Hearing aids at that time talked about channels. Maybe you've come across the word channels. Talked about different um, amounts of gain or amplification, things of that nature. And I just didn't really know what to expect. So in the end, I went on the advice of my colleagues and kind of chose a hearing aid that they were more experienced with and that they had a good experience with. But today's video, I want to go over step by step the different parts of a hearing aid and what to expect and what to look at once you're being advised what hearing aid to choose. Okay, so here are several features of hearing aids that you might come across in your research. First one is directional microphones, telecoil, which can also be called a T-coil, adaptive directionality, uh, channels is one I mentioned earlier, noise reduction, feedback cancellation, um, automatic gain control, you may come across that one, not, that one's not as common. Let's go over each one of those and talk a little bit about what they do. So first we'll talk about directional microphones. So directional microphones. What is a directional microphone? Directional microphones are the best improvement we've had in hearing aids in the last 15 years in order to help people hear in background noise. The problem with background noise in hearing aids is has been an ongoing one. Oftentimes people will say, I hear the background noise, but I can't hear the person talking in front of me. So what you have, uh, you have two microphone modes, omnidirectional, meaning the microphone gives emphasis to, it doesn't give emphasis to any particular area, it uh, amplifies behind, beside, and front equally. Directional microphones is actually two microphones on the hearing aid, which allow the hearing aid to focus directly in front of you and cut off the things beside and behind you. And this isn't just me talking, there's clinical proof that directional microphones help people understand better in background noise. We've had other improvements, but that is the biggest improvement we've had for the ability to hear background noise. So that's one thing to look for. It's not everybody needs it, but it is one advantage to hearing aids. Also with directional microphones, you have what's called adaptive directionality. The majority of hearing aids today have a little bit of adaptive directionality. And what that means is it, as I discussed, that directional microphones put the emphasis directly in what in front of you. So adaptive directionality is just that. The hearing aid does, it adapts automatically. So when you get into a noisy environment, the microphones automatically go to a directional mode. So you're only amplifying what's in front of you. Some of your less expensive hearing aids do not have adaptive directionality. And so when you want it to switch into directional mode, you'll actually have to reach up and push a button to get it to change or use a remote control. Adaptive directionality is a nice thing if you've ever read something that said these hearing, hearing aids automatically adjust. That's one of the things, automatic directionality. The next thing I want to talk about is a telecoil, or for short, a T-coil. What a telecoil is, it is actually it's, it's a device in the hearing aid that communicates with other electronics uh, through magnetics. And so what people often use it for is for telephone. If you're struggling with the telephone, use of T-coil helps people hear the telephone better because rather than using acoustics or sound waves, it actually uses magnetics to talk to a hearing aid. So you hold the phone up and you're easy, you're, you, you hear the phone directly through the hearing aid. Another thing that T-coils can be used for a lot of uh, public theaters, uh, churches are wired with, it's called a wired loop. When you put your hearing aid in, you activate the T-coil on your hearing aid you're able to hear whatever is being transmitted over those wire loops, whether it be a movie, uh, a play, or in church, the, the sermon. Now, a T-coil is not for everybody, and uh, some people find it to be more of a bother than it's worth, but it is an option that you have. Next, we have channels. 
about five years ago, eh, maybe six, seven years ago, channels was the big buzzword. You would go into the audiologist and you would say, how many channels does this hearing aid have? And that was a, a way that you could gauge what sophistication your hearing aid had. We've, we've started, we started with two channel hearing aids and we've gone clear up to 32 channel hearing aids. Now anybody that really knows channels, you're going to realize that after about 12 channels, there's a diminishing rate of return. The difference in 12 channels and 18 channels is not a big difference. The difference in two channels and 12 channels, there is a big difference. What a channel is, if you think about the equalizer on your stereo system, you have the low tones over here and the high tones over here. Just That's what a channel is. So a 12 channel system has 12 frequencies that you can shift, uh, adjust. A two channel only has two frequencies that you can adjust. So your less expensive hearing aids are going to be two to four channel systems. You may get one as much as a six channel. Uh, and then usually your mid-levels are eight to ten channels. Your premiums are 12 to 18 channels. And so I, I wouldn't really get stuck on channels other than the lower the channels, typically the less bells and whistles that hearing aid is going to have and the more channels, the hearing aid company is going to put more bells and whistles into that particular product. Next we have noise reduction. Noise reduction is, is a feature of a digital hearing aid that detects noise and tries to suppress it. So when, again, going back to the noisy environment, when you're in a noisy situation, noise reduction is going to detect the background noise and try to suppress it so that you're able to hear the speech. Different hearing aids have different amounts of noise reduction. With digital hearing aids getting as good as they are now, almost every hearing aid that we sell, every digital hearing aid we sell, is going to have noise reduction of some kind in it. But for example, your, your entry level hearing aids are going to have noise reduction of about 5 decibels, meaning when you get into a noisy environment, they're going to suppress noise by about 5 decibels, which is a fair amount. It's good, but for somebody that's in a lot of noisy environments, if you worked at a restaurant or someplace where there's a lot of background noise, you're going to want something that suppresses it a little bit more. So as you go up in technologies, noise reduction gets a little bit better. When you go to the top of the line technology, you're going to be getting about 20 decibels of noise reduction, which is, is quite aggressive. The last thing I want to talk about is automatic gain control. This actually isn't something you'll read about. Um, you won't see it in any literature or specs of a hearing aid, automatic gain control. But what it is, when people talk about digital hearing aids, what makes them digital are several things. It's how it processes sound, but automatic gain control is a big thing that makes it um, digital. And what automatic gain control simply means is the hearing aid is going to adjust depending on what kind of sound environment you're in. So when you go into the loud environment, um, the, hearing aid, the automatic gain control of the hearing aid is going to suppress the noise so it doesn't give as much amplification to a loud sound as it, as it would if you went into a quiet room and somebody was whispering, it's going to give a lot of amplification to that soft sound, whereas the loud sound it doesn't give the same amplification to. That's automatic gain control. It's kind of a neat feature about hearing aids. So when you go, when you get your newspaper or you get a, a, a direct a piece in the mail that says, you know, our hearing aids are automatic, they automatically adjust. Well, that is true. All digital hearing aids automatically adjust. What you want to know, though, is how is it adjusting and how well is it going to adjust. Uh, you, you go with more of the, the less expensive models, yes, they're going to adjust, but what are they going to adjust is those other features we talked about. And how well are they going to adjust those other features, the directional microphones, the noise reduction, etc. So it's not just having an automatic hearing aid, rather, it's an automatic hearing aid that has features that it can use to help you hear better in background noise and in quiet. So to finish, uh, we've gone over several of the features of hearing aids. These are things to look for when you're looking to buy a hearing aid. As you go up in price, you should be getting more of these products. Uh, I think most audiologists, most hearing aid dispensers have heard horror stories or they've participated in horror stories of somebody paying an incredible amount of money. Hearing aids are expensive. We're not going to uh, tiptoe around that. We've heard these stories of people paying a lot of money, four, six thousand dollars for a, a piece for hearing aids that are, are what we would consider an entry level product. Something that should cost somebody a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. Somebody's 
somebody else is charging four thousand dollars for and and you as the patient you're not aware of what kind of things you look for you just trust you trust what the professional is telling you and so these are things you can look at to kind of help you determine what price you should be paying if you're paying around the three thousand dollar a piece range you should be getting a premium hearing aid premium hearing aid should have fabulous noise reduction they should have uh, great noise reduction, great digi uh, directional microphones. They should do very well in background noise. They're not going to be perfect. And anyone that says that is, is misleading you. You should get a good hearing aid that helps you. But if you're more in the $1,000 range, your hearing aid's not going to have the best noise reduction. It's not going to have the best adaptive directionality. And so, and that's okay. Not everybody needs that. But what you need to be make yourself aware of is you don't want to pay a premium dollar for an entry-level product, which does happen if, if people aren't doing their research. And that's the goal of this video, is to try to help you determine what is best for you. Please feel free to give me a call. Visit our website, uh, call me with any questions you might have, or feel free to email me, tim at lasvegashears.com. Thank you.